Hello, my name is Roger Ewing, and this week, during an intermediate Excel class, I had a student ask if he could create a drop-down list when we're using advanced filters. We can do that. I'm going to demo it right here uh, by creating one for the agent ID. In order to do that, we need to create a list of our agent IDs, which I've done on a separate worksheet in the same workbook. I have also created a named range for that list called Agents. So to do that, I'm going to go back over here and click on the cell I want to have the drop-down list in. I go to Data. I go to Data Validation. And in Data Validation, I need to select List as the Allow. And on the Source, I need to put, I'm going to select F3 to bring up my list of names. And I'm going to double click on Agents and I click OK and I have my drop down list. Now I'm going to do a Control C to copy and then a Control V on these three cells and now I can use that for multiples of the agents that I might want to filter on. So just to demonstrate I'll filter on Agent Bond and Agent Mary. So now to create the advanced filter, I'm going to go into Data, Filters, Advanced. The table range is highlighted. I'm going to click on the Criteria range. And of course, don't forget to include the uh, headings of the filters. Click OK. And now I'm filtered on Bond and Mary. And there we have it. All you need to do is the same thing for each of your other fields and you should be good to go with a nice advanced filter. Hope that helped. Thanks a lot.